Week two is done. Yay! Week two is donezo. Of course, I waited until last minute to do these exercises. And I say exercises because on the last day of this week, the last day of every week with T25, there are two 25 minute sessions and not just one like it is throughout the week. So today I had to do um, ab intervals. No, it was lower focus and then ab interval. So I did lower focus, got that out of the way. Didn't do the, the cool down. Went straight from the last second of lower focus, plugged in the ab interval and did that straight off. And then I did the cool down at the end of ab, ab interval. Ab interval so far is the only one, the only workout that I've done in T25 that makes me feel like I need to throw up every time I do it. I'm talking, I'm doing the Superman and I'm laying on my stomach and I'm like, Sean, I'm about to throw up. And then he'll say, your chest should be off the ground. And I realize mine has been on the ground and it's just like, Sean, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. He's talking about pulling from the belly button and tucking and, 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 and tightening stuff and I did what I could, y'all, but I tell you, barely made it. Had me looking up at the TV cross-eyed, like, you want me to what? Ab interval is no joke. Look at this. I'm going to turn the camera around. I look like a hot mess, but I'm in my house working out, so don't judge. I can't turn the camera. All right, here we go. Y'all see that? Look at all that. Look at all that sweat. Look at Get my hand up here. Look at all that sweat. That's just... And I have on a, a belly trainer or a waist trainer, whatever you want to call it. Look at all that sweat. Sweating on my straps. That's just ridiculous. And then just sweating. My ears stinging. My piercing is stinging because it's sweat dripping all in it. That's no fun. But today, I can officially say I'm two weeks done with T25. It's kind of, or well, alpha, it's kind of crazy, I'm kind of excited, I'm happy that I've made it thus far. I weigh in tomorrow, y'all, I weigh in tomorrow. I am hoping, hoping the scale says 206 or lower. Because last time I stepped on the scale, which was last Monday, I was 209.6. If I can get this tomorrow to say 206 or lower, I am good. That'll be nine pounds down in two weeks. But I ain't gonna put all my eggs in one basket. You know, sometimes the scale go up and you feel different, but the, it, it, the scale say you gain. So I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna make me feel if that's the case, but I'm kind of excited. Step on the scale, just like I did last week. First thing I'm gonna do when I wake up in the morning, I step on the scale and I will record it. And you'll see my honest reaction. I pray to God it is a loss. I don't care if it's the 0. .6 from the 209.6. I hope it's a loss of some sort. But this week, I've, I've done really good diet-wise this week. But I will say that today, Father's Day, I took my husband and our two boys out to eat to Olive Garden. And I did have a cup of sips of wine. I did have, I ain't gonna lie, I had two glasses and each glass was nine ounces. I sure did. I sure did. And I killed it. It was so good. And then I had salmon and broccoli, but we all know wine has so many calories in it. So I could have very well messed up something, but it was a celebratory drink. So I partook, if that's even a word, I did partake in the celebration and I drank two nine ounce uh, cups or glasses of wine, risotto. It was amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited for tomorrow. I have something in my eye. Y'all keep seeing me picking at my eye. I don't know. I didn't even wipe my makeup off before I start working out. I told my husband if I don't get in it right now, I'm not gonna get it done. So I changed my clothes and uh, put on these raggedy behind shorts I'm working out in and got the workout done. I'm gonna do another video right after this of some questions that people hear around me, not necessarily on Facebook or YouTube, 
have been asking me about my weight loss journey. So once I finish this video, I'm going to make another video answering some of those questions. Um, hopefully it helps somebody. If not, I just get to talk and we all know I'm very good at that. <laughs> so I'm going to end this video. Hurry up and do this last one with a few questions that I, that I was asked and asked and clean up. Y'all know my routine. Get in the tub, clean up, and go on and lay down and watch me some Netflix or some Hulu. That's what I'm going to do. So I hope y'all's workouts are going well. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Happy Father's Day to all the moms who are being both the father and the mom. Happy Father's Day, happy Father's Day, happy Father's Day. Y'all have a good one.